Good evening and welcome back. So today we're away to Elche and the league. We've got a Champions League match coming up against Midland soon as well. So made a few changes. And as you can see, Ruben Castro is still flashing on and up, which means he's improving quickly. So I want to keep him in as much as possible. It's probably going to mean maybe subbing him off a little bit earlier just to try and get him as much game time as possible in terms of number of games to get that experience up. But we'll jump in the match. So away to Elche today. They are 17th, I believe, in the league, so you would expect it to be a bit of an easier match compared to some of the other teams. Can't take any matches for granted, really, though. And like I say, playing Ruben Castro, yeah, you just want to get them as much game time as possible. But in terms of, well, maybe not game time, but as many matches as possible uh, to get that experience. So maybe take them off like 55, 60 minutes at the most. So hopefully you can start the next match. You just want to maximise the amount of matches they play. When they're on that flashing up, uh, their experience will go up a lot quicker. Plus, he's one of our star players anyway. Ah, free, free kick, apparently. And the last match was a 4-0, I believe it was, that we won. Pretty comfortable. We're already in November in game time. So this season's, uh, you know, before we know it, it'll be that uh, January transfer window. I'm not sure we'll be making any sign-ins, but we'll certainly have a look to see what youngsters come in. Because that's when the regens uh, come in again. They come in January and, well, July, I guess I think it is. Carlos Perez, captain for today. Good ball by uh, Emerson. Just uh, kept out. He's Lee Kang in. Gedson. Lee Kang in. Oh, and it's 1 0. Lovely finish from Castro and a nice little pass from Kang in Lee. See Kang and Lee plays in Castro on touch and smashes it in. Keep a stud, no chance. Castro's lethal around that uh, edge of the box area. And of course Kang and Lee standing in for Vieira today. We did start Vieira last match and he was already pretty tired and I wasn't sure whether I should play him or not. Um, Kang and Lee was out as well anyway. Anyway, here's Mudrick. Ah, poor ball. That should have been a goal. Yeah, Kang and Lee was out and I thought, well, I could have mixed things around and played someone else there, but um, it had backfired playing him because he didn't have a good game. He looked absolutely shattered. Wasn't really involved too much. So he's getting a much needed break today. Yeah, right. Oh, nice play. Castro again. And it's 2-0. Lovely 1-2. Gets and plays it to Castro. Little layoff to Perez. Straight back through. And lethal finish as always. One touch, smashes it in. Pretty much a standard finish from Castro. Excuse me, got a bit of a cold today as well. And one of the benefits of obviously playing players when they're one on up in terms of improving quickly is not just the experience they get, it's the fact that they're actually in form anyway. And here's Castro again. Oh, a bit of a tighter angle that time. See what can do off the corner. Oh, I should have scored there. Who had it?
trying to close off the angles to pressure them into giving the ball away. That's kind of what we want them to do, punt the ball up. I'm happy with that. Here's Mudrick. It's a foul, but play on. Kedson's got it. Lovely play there. Modric. Herrera. Oh, well wide. Herrera can be very lethal from those sort of 18 to 25 yard zone, though. Doesn't score many. But uh, when he does, it's normally in that area. Don't think I've seen him score tap in, that's for certain. clearance first bit of pressure they've really put on us get some good passing going yep yeah, that was an obvious down the left there I miss him defending well though Oof, just wide well, I say defending well I thought I managed to sort of stop them I got the shot away. Back with lots of space over here. Coming in late. Now back it. Gets in. Backer again. Still gets it. Kangani looking for Perez. Couldn't quite find a way through. They've got a bit of a wall up. And they hit this on the counter now. And that is a free kick. That was a foul. It's a poor free kick though. I'm not sure what happened there. Good tackle from Emerson. Chance to count it. And here's Castro. Nice take. Well defended, actually, in a way. Emerson. That's a poor ball. Great leaping header there. But they managed to get it back. Good tackle for Momorajic. It's a bit scrappy. It's quite frantic at the moment. Carlos Perez. Oh, really nice ball at Mudrick. Oh, nearly poor touch. Gedson. Lee Kang in. Oh, the inside of the post. That could have gone anywhere. Very unlucky. Should have been three. Really nice strike. This gets in. Oh, it's a poor ball. I was trying to pass some Madrid, but that'll be half time. We'll jump straight back into the second. And as you would expect, we had uh, the majority of the possession by, you know, a little bit. Um, but certainly a lot more of the chances. They did look threatening in parts. But we were certainly the more dominant team. Castro, now Mudrick, really nice play there. Castro, oh, how did he not score? That should have been the hat-trick. I would have put money on him scoring there. Because you're not a gambler. Nice play there. Oh, really nice play. Castro again. 3-0 this time and it's a hat-trick. Lovely pass over the top there. Kangali to Castro, then to Perez. Lovely little ball over the top, shoulder strength. And again, smashed it in.
It's one way of splitting the defence. Little ball over the top. Great finish. Okay, so I'm going to make the first of the night and I am going to bring Castro off for Xerxes. It's only 50 minutes in. He's got a hat trick. Let's give him as much rest as possible. And it's great that he's got the goals because that's guaranteed that he'll get a great rating. He should get man of the match, which uh, I think your rating does affect your experience in some degree. So that's fantastic. Just what we wanted and hopefully he can start the next match as well, assuming he's still on a that upward trend of uh, gaining experience quickly. Give Zerxy some game time as well. Being cut open down the uh, down our left though. Oh, what a header. Keeper won't be happy about that, but that was a great goal. Really poor defending, got to say that. Lovely ball. Great header. I'm not sure the keeper will be happy though. That's not what we wanted. Love getting those clean sheets. And to be fair, they have looked threatening in parts without really creating any clear-cut chances. Really nice play there, though. Perez, oh, he just runs into trouble. That's offside. A little bit lucky there. Nice ball out wide to back it. Oh, now again. Well, got shoved off the ball, but fairly apparently. Now Mudrick down this left. Gets in. Oh, blocked. Of course it was blocked. Should have been in, I think. That will make some more subs as well. So we're going to bring on Bellarabi for Carlos Perez and Alex Mariba on for Kang and Lee. Now, we take back uh, for this. Oh, decent, decent corner. Mariba can't get the ball in. They always seem to... Oh, great tackle there. Here's Xerxe. Oh, good strike. That's the first touch of the ball. It does annoy me that even really poor teams can pass it out from the back. Um, <laughs> just a bit daft, really. Ah, Xerxe was just not quite on the same page there. His back was, well, he was turned the wrong way, really, to where the pass was going. Called up Mandana very quickly there. I better well be, and he's very pacey. As you can see here. Oh, nearly got through to Gedson, I believe it was. Here's Baca though. Now Mariba. Gets in. Mariba again. Gets in. Again it's blocked. Dixie. Oh, what a first time finish that was. Lovely pass from Mudrick and from Bellarabi originally. No hesitation. Wasn't even looking at the goal. Left footed finish. Brilliant goal. And that's deserved. I think, you know, a three goal lead is about right for how we've played. B 
been dominating. Yes, they've caused us the odd issue on the counter attack, but um, yeah, we've created so many chances. Nice play from Herrera there, just keeping it simple. Now Mariba. Xerxi. And again a first time finishing it's offside this time. It was great play and a great finish, but Oh fractions. Obviously no one knew that it was offside until it had already Hit the back of the net. This gets in. It's a, a strange pass. Gets it back though. Nice play. Back to Mudrick. And to Backer again. Lovely pass. Oh. Bellarabi should have gotten the end of that. Very good pass. Just a clash there, but I think it was a free kick. But yeah, getting towards the end of the game. Maybe one chance left for either team. Maybe. We'll see. Hopefully it's for us. And it could be. And here's Mudrick. He's pretty tired, but he gets on the end of it. There it is, it's 5-1 on his last legs, but he still manages to slot it away. Sixty with an assist as well now. Yeah, you can see him battling, getting his shirt pulled. Still manages to run goal and slot it away though. I think that's going to be well, there's a few more minutes of extra time added on time. Good tackle from back at. There could be still one more chance. He is back at. Bellarabi. Oh, it was a chance. Where it finishes 5 1. Castro of the hat trick. Put in three points. Yeah, and as you can see, they only had two attempts on goal. Uh, one on target being the actual goal itself. And it was a very well worked goal. And like I say, I don't think Mandana, the goalkeeper, would be happy with it. Wow, look at that. Ruben Castro with an 8.5. Absolutely magnificent. You know, you don't often get above an 8. And maybe it's because I took him off early. I don't know. But yeah, great all round performance. And the subs again did well. Xerxes getting a goal and an assist. And it looks like Real Madrid must have got a draw because we were five points ahead and we're now seven. So that leads just expanding even further. And the next match, we're at home to Midland. Remember that we're already through to the group stages. Sorry, to the knockout stages from the group stages. Got two matches left. So join us for that one. Thank you very much for joining. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.